Until now, we only play in gym and in skip. Dog on this channel has three playlists for now, and since three years, I did not update the Blender tutorial again. Back then, I thought that Blender tutorials had been overwhelming. As for the gym and in skip tutorial, are still a few, especially in the tricks that have never existed. Now, I will fill in Blender tutorial tutorial content on this channel which is still related to Inkscape and Gym. For the future, maybe I will discuss mockup in Blender even more. Previously, I have uploaded a video about box packaging mockup design in Blender which I will update more better. Okay, let's see the final mockup here. Like this. I don't know if you think this mockup look realistic or not but in my opinions it's quite realistic sorry if this bothers you because the features in blender too much as well as 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 well as the specification on of my notebook is still lacking here i add the uh, reflection effect for this 3d logo so it's look realistic here I use uh, SDR with studio image links I've included in the video description. Okay, here we will not make a mockup from scratch because the mockup is very simple. Here I will share how to use this mockup. Before that, you should download the Blender file f first and also prepare your logo design in the SVG file. Please check in the description below. And for rendering, we will use uh, internal render because my notebook does not use GPU, and I use I choose to use CPU. Okay. Here I use. Uh, here I open a uh, Blender. Here I use the version of the official repository, but you can use other version really because we will use some common feature features access in Blender. Okay, open the Blend file I've included in the video description. Description file, open. Here I choose a uh, logo mockup. Dot blend and click open Blender file. Here is a 3D mockup model with my logo because we will use another logo. Click on this layer. I mean, first layer. This is a first first layer and this is a second layer. Click a first layer like this. And the logo was no longer visible. Sorry, I will not explain about the layer in Blender. You can see on the Blender wiki. Okay, and the next import the SVG file. Click file, open. Uh, sorry, click file, import, and select scalable vector graphics. Here I choose a um, Blender logo, and click import SVG. Okay, go to wireframe mode, press C like this, and then here this is a logo. We see here there is a curve, curve, and curve zero zero one. Right click this object with shift, um, I mean, press and hold shift key and right click this object, okay, and then scale with press S like this, okay, okay, rotate 90 degrees, press R and then press X. And type 90 and, and enter. 
Okay, exit Wi-Fi mode, press C, like this. Okay, to view in the camera mode, press the number 0, like this. In order to use this number key shortcut, this is this method is only for notebook users. You must activate via the file menu, user preferences, click uh, input tab, and check emulate numpad and save user, user setting. Okay. Here you can drag like this and scale again like this. Okay. And then we will extrude the, this logo to appear three dimension before it came out of camera mode. Okay, right click this orange obje object like this, mm, orange object, curve zero zero one, and go to the material step, material tab. Mm, sorry, uh, data tab. And then for this extrude section, we fill the number 0 0.01. And for depth, we fill the number 0 0.002. And for resolution, we fill the number um, 5. Okay, and then also do this blue object, right click. 0 0.01 0 0.002 and 5 Okay <coughs> Let's try to render and wait until the rendering process is complete Click you can click render um render image Okay, congratulations, your 3D mockup has been completed. If you want more cool results, we will give reflection effect on this logo object. Okay, you can click escape and then right click uh, orange object and then go to the material tab and scroll, check uh, mirror for reflectivity, we will be number 0.5 and the color we give a uh, orange color you can use a dropper tool click this color okay and next do also for this blue object right click this blue object and then check mirror for reflectivity we feel random we feel with number 0 0.5 and give a blue color okay okay let's render maybe you should wait uh, a little longer 
go to the render render image Okay, um, after the rendering process is complete, to save it, you can click image and then select uh, save as image. Okay, I think this is enough for the tutorial. Sorry if things go wrong, if you are still confused, you can ask in the comment field below. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video